The introduction of instruments for physical examination started with the stethoscope. Here we've got an image from 1850 in Ohio where a doctor is using a stethoscope. It's a monaural stethoscope, similar to the one we see here. He listened to the heart and lungs to identify disease, and then doctors would confirm if the patient died, unfortunately. Uh, through dissection, they could then conduct an autopsy and look for the changes in the body, lesions and tumors that have been produced by those sounds. During the course of the 19th century, the physical examination underwent change and development so that by 1900 it was a very codified, even a ritualized process. As we see here, Sir William Osler in about 1900 is first of all inspecting the patient visually, and then he goes, he touches, he palpates, and then he listens with a stethoscope, a process called auscultation. And then finally, he contemplates what he has learned from this examination. So the, the instruments really bring together physician and patient in close physical approximation. Some of the basic instruments for diagnosis in 1900 would have included a binaural stethoscope. And a very few years after that, by about 1910, we would have had blood pressure measurement, otherwise known as a sphygmomanometer. In 1800, doctors used almost no instruments whatsoever. Here we have a doctor, all he's doing is holding somebody's pulse. But by the mid-century, the stethoscope was well in use, and by the end of the century, a whole array of technologies were being incorporated into medical practice.